Hello everybody, my name is Eduardo and I am here with another tutorial for App Inventor and um, basically it is about how to animate the sprite, okay? So, well, here we have uh, this project that is basically just a canvas and, and sprite and then I have an horizontal arrangement, okay, to place some buttons to go into left or right. So here with this Mario, okay, I am using just six images for each frame of the animation. Three for going to right and three for going to left. Okay, as you can see, here are the frames. Okay, I'm going to use just here to see all the frames. Three and three. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, and I rename all of them like Mario 1, Mar Mario 2, Mario 3, Mario 4, Mario 5, and Mario 6 with extension PNG. Okay, well, I'm just here just making some arrangements, okay, to make the buttons uh, more visible. And that's it, pretty much the same. Okay, so you rename the buttons left, going to right, and we are going to use a clock, okay, to go a clock to. Uh, for the animation. Then we go to the blocks. The first thing is with to set a variable that is the animation frame So I'm going to set it like zero. Okay This is going to help us. Well, in this moment nothing is happening But we're going to use the buttons. Okay, so first thing here. Let's set it the time interval to 200 Okay, we disabled and then we go here for the initialize so with initialize we are going to uh, disable the clock again and we're going to set just a default uh, image we're going to use the number one mario one png and then i'm just trying i'm going to experiment with some things okay what if we use the touchdown okay the touchdown is like holding the uh, the button or holding down the button so and i'm going to do this okay so with the condition if the animation frame it is uh, smaller than three okay so do this block so set the animation frame and increase the frame just by one uh, plus one so but here i'm going to use this okay these blocks it is just to change we are going to join the text mario because all my uh, frames started with the name of Mario and then we have the number that is going to uh, increment and then we have the extension that is PNG okay so if the animation is smaller than 3 please continue adding 1 and 1 and 1 to the global animation frame if not okay set it to 0 so but nothing is happening why because remember this is the touch down, okay? Like in the Super Bowl. Well, we just press it. We have to keep it pressed, but it's just moving one frame. Why? Well, because it is not like. So you need to hold it and move it. So with touch down, it is not working right. Okay. What about if we use the click? Well, with the click, anytime we click, it moves its one, 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 one frame, one frame, one frame, one frame. Now let's add something to make it more interesting. What if we modify the position of the sprite in the X axis? Okay, and increment it uh, by five. Anytime we uh, press the button. Oh, we are not going to use the click. And we're going to use the touchdown, okay, to enable the clock. And then, when we uh, remove the finger from the button, we are going to disable the clock. Now, we insert now this and check what happens. This is magic. Every time we uh, keep the button uh, touch down, okay, we touch it down. So it continues moving uh, by five pixels or something and it continues uh, moving the animations and that, that that is the thing sorry if you don't understand my english um, that it's quite difficult sometimes for me but well any anyway now let's use this this is what is moving mario so let's call this or let's insert it in a pro in a procedure what about if this is the walk right procedure? Okay, and we need another procedure. Okay, what about if we just uh, create a walk left procedure? So we just duplicate this thing, we copy, 
and it is the same but now we are not going to use these frames uh, from 1 to 3 we are going to use frames from uh, 4 to 6 okay so we started uh, here moving just these things okay now we're not moving in a positive way it's moving in negative way but in the same uh, quantity of pixels okay so what if this is uh, bigger than 6 well we want uh, these two reset to four but maybe there is a mistake now I'm going to add another clock this is to go in uh, left okay and we do the same values okay 200 and now in the screen initialize as well we set it uh, false okay and now we're going to use with the button okay with the uh, left button touch down we're going to enable this clock and we're going to disable the other one the previous one that is the uh, triggering the the right walking so ah, also the right button it's going to disable the clock too okay so and in, in the left button it is just the opposite remember okay uh, let me see okay so the clock one it's going to do the procedure for the walk right animation and the clock two it's going to do the same for the uh, walk left uh, procedure yes it's all oh, animation so that's it walk left okay so and we activate this with uh, we're missing the left button right so left left no no touch down when it's touched down okay when you're holding the button so we want to disable the clock number one okay so no walking to the right and we enable the walk left okay now go to the left so we just change here the values and that's it pretty much the same now let's check what we have in the uh in the app so left right oh sorry for that so again i guess in this case to write looks okay the frames but on the left we have a little mistake it's like jumping or like uh maybe have a something a problem with his leg okay so we need to fix this well it continues walking because we don't have the touch up option right to stop it when we uh, stop uh, holding the button we want it to stop the clock and that's it now yes but it continues like the animation it looks quite uh, incorrect but don't worry we're going to fix that we have to check the code and I'm going to show you some things when we have problems or so when you have problems in your app is something that I usually do okay when it's a way to see what is happening inside the app okay so we need to debug these things okay so but well let's just analyze okay it's like jumping 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 and this is quite normal so we need to fix this okay so how can I know that we need to see what is happening with the animation or the value of the animation frame when it's walking uh, to the left side of the screen okay so check it no not correct so let's see here again okay so well let's go here and let's add um, in this case well I was refreshing the screen but it looks again the same because I moved some values that's why okay so as I told you we need to fix this so and the way I usually fix uh, these problems is as I told you with uh, trying to see what is happening in the values okay so we are going to add a label so I'm going to call it a debug okay just to fix this and to make it more uh, ridiculous 
So and now the text of the debug, uh, I want to see it uh, with the global animation. So to see, oh, it's just playing five and six, five and six, prime, but it's not playing four. So why? Well, maybe we need to increase the values. Oh, sorry, my mistake. I was trying to see the same. What what is happening? In this case, it's happening correctly. This one two three, one two three, one two three, one two three. So, but in the other case, it is not that thing. Well, let's increase a little bit the speed. Four, five, six. Well, if we modify just the values, okay, so it's now if the animation frame it is uh, smaller than six. Well, you walk to the left. And now, that's all. These are the blocks that we have, okay? I hope you understand the tutorial. I know it's quite fast, okay, but you can see the blocks and I, I guess I will post the APK or the, the source file for you to check. Thanks for watching this video.